It actually already says downloading firmware up to the top. I'm gonna do the switch. Oh, amazing. Yay, it kept recording and it switched. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Tech. Today I've got the Osmo Action and we're actually gonna do a unique upgrade to this today. because there's a new firmware out for it and it's an important firmware. It's now updating to 1.05. It's actually 01.05.00.10 is the newest update that just came out for this. If I start a recording on this firmware right now and I say I want to swap the screen, it stops the recording, swaps the screen and then restarts the recording. I've never liked that since it came out. So now we're going to do the firmware update on this and see if it fixes it. In order to do the firmware upgrade, you need the DJI MIMO app, or you can alternatively, alternatively download the zip file from the DJI website, but I'm going to try and do it right through the app. So we'll see if it remembers how to connect to the camera. It actually already says downloading firmware up to the top. One that we want. And here's the features, which are all great things. Added ability to switch between front and rear in slow motion. Added ability to switch between front and rear without interrupting recording. That's ACE and optimized electronic image stabilization, which is DJI's Rocksteady for 60 frames a second, as well as the added additional languages. Now, I never thought that 60 frames a second looked bad. I actually thought that DJI's Rocksteady had a little bit better stabilization than GoPro's Hypersmooth. So we're just gonna hit install, device not connected. Connect your device. Looks like it shut off. So we're just gonna turn it back on. And Osmo not found. So I'm gonna go into the settings. Swipe down from the top. Settings. Wireless connection. Wireless connection. Use DJI MIMO to connect. Oh, there it is. Do you wanna connect? Yes. I have connected this before to do the, the very first upgrade out of the box. Unable. Why are you unable? I'm gonna have to do the reset the Wi-Fi, I guess. So I'll go settings, wireless connection, reset connection. Okay, Lee. Now I'm now I'm gonna try that again, I guess. Install, connect. It's gonna search for it. Connect. Uh, accept. I have to pair them. Accept. Join. Better accept this time. Unable to join. What is up with that? There, now it joined. Now it's installing firmware. So that took what, five times for me to try and join it? That might be an iPhone problem. Anyway, so now it's updating firmware. Cool, then we'll come back and try it in two minutes once the firmware is updated. Update successful. Now I just have to wait for the camera to reboot. So the camera says update successful. And we'll just check the menu system. We'll be in about in here somewhere. About. There we go. We're on ver What the heck just happened there? A picture? That was weird. Because voice control. So I turned voice control off just to... Make sure we don't do that. All right, first clip of 4K60 on firmware 1.05, and I'm gonna do the switch. Oh, amazing. Yay, it kept recording and it switched. That's excellent. All right, first clip of 4K60 on firmware 1.05, and I'm gonna do the switch. Oh, amazing. Yay, it kept recording and it switched. So now if you want to swap while recording, it's a silent swap and it's completely in sync with your clip. So you don't have to restart your clip every time you want to switch between selfie mode and rear mode. That's awesome. All right, let's do a quick stabilization test. Okay, quick test of the DJI Osmo Action. It's recording at 4K60 on firmware 1.03 and we're just about to do the update to 1.05, but I wanted to just give a quick little stability test here. This is recording at 60 frames a second. So I'm running up the stairs as quickly as I can, just handheld 60 frames a second, seeing how that handles. It does do some weird things with slow pans sometimes, but it's, it's pretty darn good. So this was 1.03, now we're gonna update it to 1.05. All right, quick test 4K60 with the new firmware 1.05. Gonna quickly run up and down the stairs as quickly as I can. 
in the same way I just did it in the last clip. And then we'll do a quick little pan around. Now the lag on the screen is still about the same. You still have approximately one second lag with Rocksteady on of what you see in the selfie screen versus what you're actually recording. But the stabilization does seem slightly smoother. Cool. It keeps getting better. It really does. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. DJI Osmo action is getting better and better with every firmware update, except for there's one thing that still really bothers me, and that is that there is no external mic support. Even though they said in the original specs that they would allow audio input, it still does not exist. They still have not created it. You cannot use the DJI Osmo Pocket. You cannot use any kind of third-party USB-C to audio input. It still doesn't allow you to run external microphones. It still has some limitations that I've talked about previously. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to keep using it and uh, just waiting for that external microphone to show up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.